right, so we'll get uh, get started with our first sponsor, uh, Regan Hartley, who, fun fact, was also Miss New Hampshire at. Again, tell me. The Miss America Miss organization. But that was in 2011, so I'm old now. <laughs> As am I, so. Yeah, we don't spirits. need to talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we'll move on from there. All right, well, you are with Zeal, yes. an EV charging technology, right? I want to ask you a few questions about that. Of course. Uh, first one is, can you explain how Zeal's patented self-reliant protocol allows EV chargers to operate without constant internet connection uh, and how that sets you apart from traditional companies? Yeah, no, absolutely. I think the first part of that question is how do EV chargers actually work, Yeah, that's <laughs> right? right? So there's something that we call a dumb charger and then there's something that we call a smart charger. And just like it sounds, smart chargers do smart functions. Um, and f in order for them to do those smart functions, they have to be connected to a central server. So whether that's Wi-Fi, cellular, or hardwired Ethernet connection, um, which makes it really difficult to retrofit existing buildings, y yeah, as you yeah, can imagine. I can imagine that. I mean, even if you have the most tricked out fiber in the world on your new asset, your new development, I mean, all of your other smart devices are also sitting on that bandwidth, that's right? That's right. That's right. So more than half the time charging stations are actually not operational and that's all due to central networking problems so these are very heavy data packets that are being transferred from the user's cell phone to the charging station to the cloud and to be candid with you two and a half years ago when i started with this company i was like i thought the cloud was just above me right a lot of us were like naive to that we're like oh the cloud's above you it's not it's actually a database that's miles and miles and miles away and so these are these packets are getting lost or they're losing connectivity and payments are not being processed or it's not actually activating a charge and so people are literally being stranded like can't charge because I can't connect. Exactly. And finding a charging station in general right now is very difficult because there's not a lot of infrastructure actually in place. Right. That's right. So when you do finally find one, it better work, right? right? That's right. what you hope. Yeah. Um, so what really separates Zeal is our patented communication protocol that we've developed. So we've actually created the world's first and only self-reliant connectivity protocol for smart devices. Our charging stations only need power. They don't need Wi-Fi, they don't need cellular, and they do all of the smart functions that you wanted to do for a commercial asset. Oh, wow. Yeah. So if you don't have a Wi-Fi connection, mm -hmm. you don't have a Bluetooth connection, you don't yep. have any kind of connection, you still it can still charge. Works. Wow. Yep. So That's much, amazing. So much so that we actually put it in our terms and conditions. We will actually reimburse our clients if for any reason that charging station is not operable with our 100% uptime guarantee. I would definitely classify that as a differentiating. It's a big one, yeah. <laughs> we put our money where our mouth is. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Excellent, okay. Um, the company is growing rapidly. I know we were talking before we got on camera here mm -hmm. that it's kind of global expansion, even though we're domestic in nature today, but there's future plans for going global, mm -hmm. right? Is that right? Absolutely. Okay. Um, Wherever I can sell a charger, I'm selling a charger. That's right. <laughs> You're working with all the major real estate companies yes. or a big segment of the real estate population today. Mm -hmm. um, how is the implementation process, how do you go about making sure or ins uh, ensuring that that's a smooth and efficient rollout mm -hmm. for property operators? Because I know a lot of times integration, business disruption, all that kind of stuff mm -hmm. is important to operators. So how do you make that easy? Yeah, so I think the first thing is looking at the portfolio holistically and actually developing an EV charging strategy. Mm -hmm. So not just putting in one or two chargers on an asset and hoping that it works, but actually looking at the current EV registration rates, that potential year-over-year -year growth, what revenue you could expect to get from that particular amenity. Um, also looking at you know the type of demographics. So we're really focused right now on multifamily because people charge their cars just like they charge their phones. Yeah. They're gonna plug it in wherever they spend the most amount of time. However, if you are looking at a property that only has one or two stations, you don't want to fight with your neighbor down the, down the hall, That's right. right? And have to wake them up and dis, uh, disturb them from Netflix, right? To move their car. That's right. You want that reassurance that every night when you come home, you can plug in and it's going to work. So what we really focus on is looking at the asset type, looking at where that property is located, giving our clients a realistic outlook. It might not be what they want to hear, sure. um, but I'm going <laughs> to tell them exactly you know, how many stations that they should plan for for future expansion from an electrical infrastructure standpoint and how many to actually install right out the gate in order to ensure that it's a real amenity. Yeah. Um, and especially with our no need for internet or IT infrastructure, it makes it a lot easier to install. 
it's hard enough finding the power. So not being limited with regards to placement is also very helpful. That makes sense. Yeah. So you're not just selling a piece of hardware or a software system into an ecosystem. You're sitting down actually doing a, a plan architecture yeah. and helping the operator understand how to roll that out most efficient and effective. Absolutely. Yeah. And, and we really believe that how you do one thing is how you do everything. Oh, it's actually wow. one of our values. So at, at the company, I mean, we really act as consultants. I mean, clients that I have been honored to have for the past 10 years were the first ones to adopt this technology when I joined with the company and continue to support us along the way. So every little thing we do, whether that's product type or implementation or customer service or anything really, it really needs to matter. We need to do it right the first time. Yeah. And so we really lead with that mentality that how you do one thing is how you do everything. I love that. Yeah. Excellence first, right? We're always aiming <laughs> always, for excellence. Always. Very good. Um, Beyond the obvious financial benefits, how does installing Zeal's EV chargers align with property owners' sustainability goals? Mm -hmm. Sustainability is a big word in the world today. It is. Uh, how do you uh, align with that and their role as community leaders? So it's all about the type of renter and the experience for that renter, in my opinion, right? Yeah. So what's really unique about what we're doing is we're really setting the tone for an eco-friendly, a sustainably cautious type of renter. Um, they think different. They want to grow with the brands. They want to evolve with the brand. They want to be the, a part of the movement. And that's really what we're seeing, yeah, which is right. really exciting. I mean, ESG, I think it's been hyped up for a really long time, right? Every major company now has an ESG board, but what does that really mean? And how are you impacting the lives of those residents? And how are you ultimately impacting the world? Um, and so we focus with our clients to really make sure that we are making it easy for them to implement and then also that it's a great experience every single time, yeah. which I think is really important. It's uh, it's definitely, at least my experience, maybe this is a story I tell myself, but the youth in our culture, really, they align with brands that align with the things that they value, mm -hmm. right? And what you're bringing to this picture is something that is very valuable to the earth, <laughs> right? It's, yeah. it's valuable to us as humans in terms of sustaining our ability to live in this planet for a long bit of time. Right. And when you can align the owner's values with the consumer's values with your value, right? The thing you bring to the equation, it's just a win-win-win for everyone. Absolutely. Fair to say. Yeah. Absolutely. And at the end of the day, like I said, it just has to work. Yeah. Like people don't want to hear, oh, well, the internet was down and that's why the charging station wasn't working. They don't care. That's <laughs> like, right. That's right. Especially with today's rents. I mean, they're paying top dollar to live in that apartment building. So especially for that type of an amenity, it just needs to work and it needs to be seamless. Um, and, and that's really what we strive to do. That's right. It's it's kind of on par with when you go and get on an airplane, you want to make sure that the airplane lands on the other There's end of the... There's nothing worse. Right. Nothing. Exactly, right? So you want this technology to be as reliable as the airplane taking off and landing. So Absolutely. Very important. Um, okay. Last question for you. What are you looking most forward to here at Apartmentalize here in 2024? My goodness. Well, so for me, I mean, my entire career multifamily, I've focused on innovating, you know, the industry and finding new hot um, products that can really change the way of human behavior or making it easier for owners and operators. And I think EV charging is, was just the natural step for me. Yeah. Uh, with all the buzz now around AI and it being kind of the devil on the shoulder, but also this huge opportunity, I'm really excited to see what companies are being more innovative and really embracing the opportunity that is at hand um, and how we can make operations and the client experience more um, enjoyable. Yeah. Or seamless. Definitely. Regan, it was a pleasure. Awesome. Amazing. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right. Take care. Thanks.